Welcome back to the channel. It's Stunner MR Sports. And today what we're doing is working on the 2011 Mr. BC Eclipse GT V6. Alright, this is the fourth generation. This is the last year that they did the coupe version. And what we're doing today is we're changing out the ball joints. Okay. And here's a look at the tools that we will be needing to get that done today. All right, what you have here, we have a 22 millimeter 17 millimeter, 19 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, and a 15 millimeter wrench. Okay, and you can use an impact wrench if you want, that's up to you. Also, we have here a hammer, a Phillips head screwdriver, a mallet, vice grip. And we have a special tool here, which is, uh, I believe that's a one and one quarter inch uh, socket. And that's going to be to remove that center piece right there in the middle that center nut okay let me get my camera right and we will get started here okay now what you got to do obviously you got to take the wheels off you got to jack it up do all that thing you got to take off the caliper whole thing and that requires you use for the caliper I believe it is seventeen millimeter seventeen millimeter two bolts back here for the caliper you're gonna take that completely off and you're gonna hang it up like this here so you don't snap your brake line right of course, once you take the rotor off, well, you take the caliper off, take the rotor off, which I already have done. You're going to hang that up there like that. Then you're going to come over here. I'm going to use this as my pointer. You come on, come up here to your stabilizer bar. And you're going to take that off right there. I believe that is a 16 millimeter. Yes, it is. Take that off and let it hang. And you're gonna come over here to your tie rod. And I believe that is a 19 millimeter for your tie rod. Take this off right here. Let it hang. All right. Once you take these two off, you got your caliber hanging. Then you're gonna come here. And in order to get to your ball joint down here, you got to take off the center nut right here. You're going to take your, you can take a vice grip or a Phillips head screwdriver and pick this cotter pin out, right? I'm not just going to simulate it because I've already done it and put it back together. All right, once you take this cotter pin out, you're going to use this special tool, which again is a one and a quarter inch socket. You're going to put that on there. You're going to take your impact wrench and then you're going to take this off. Once you unscrew that nut, you got a, 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 a little washer behind it. You're going to take that off. And uh, then you can, well, first before you do that, once you, once you get all this loosened up, you're going to come up to your speed sensor. And the speed sensor takes a Sub, sub millimeter 
broke the bolt right here. Of course, I broke the little clip piece right here, but that speed sensor comes out, right? Then you take this this bolt out. Once you do that, so you don't snap that line. And once this is out, you can just pull this whole TV axle part out, right? And when you pull that out, of course, your, your, your TV axle is behind it. The piece that's this part right here goes in, right? That's your TV axle. And that's when you're going to have access to the bottom of your ball joint, right? And this right here is the ball joint right here at the bottom. I end up doing it the hard way. And you guys learn from my mistakes so you don't have to do it. I end up having to cut it off. But the ball joint is going to be up under here like this is, right? But what I should have did was, instead of, I tried to do it the easy way, thinking I could just hammer it out from the top, but there's no space in between there. So I ended up having to do all this by pulling this whole TV axle assembly out to get to the part where I can hammer it down, right? And again, once you pull this out, right, once you pull the cutter pin out, Take this nut off, pull this out, let the CD axle drop, then you could turn this whole this whole thing turn and you have access to the ball joint. Right? And here is the ball joint. It's gonna be on here like this. This is this part goes in there, and this part here comes out, right? Now I end up taking this whole thing out, which I which I really didn't need to do, but it's a trial and error thing. It's my first time doing it. But anyway, this bolt right here takes a nineteen millimeter. Now, anyways, you can as you can see, this is the bushing, the inner bushing. I I need to change this out. So it's a good thing I took that the whole control arm out anyway because I need to change out the bushing. Here's the other bushing, which is this one is fine, but I'm gonna change it out anyway. And this is the part where the ball joint was. This is what I was trying to change, right? Now, this now you can buy this whole assembly with new bushings, this part brand new with the ball joint on eBay. You can get a pair for like a hundred bucks. So you don't have to go through all this. You can just, you know, well, you still have to go through the process, but you don't end up having to put a new ball joint in there. It already comes with a ball joint assembly and new bushings, but I'm taking a cheat route and ordering new bushings for here. And I already had the ball joint, which is when, which is came with a, a kit that I used to change out my stabilizer bar and my tie rod, right? But anyway, if you're gonna change out the up up the control arm, the way it goes is this goes inside here, and let's see if this guy fits. Show you guys. All right, this is. This is your control. This is your control arm, right? If I put it, as you can see, right here, this is part right here goes inside of this. This bolt goes inside of here, right? And this other part here, other part here, goes inside that slot right there, which has this bolt right here. Now it goes in upward, and there's a 19 on the top and 19 on the bottom. So you're gonna need a 19 inch wrench here and 19 inch wrench here, and you're gonna turn them opposite ways, one count on one clockwise to loosen and then to tighten, right? That bolt goes, I don't know if you can see it, right in there right inside of here you're gonna stick it in that slot first 
you're gonna stick it in that slot first and then you're gonna take this bolt and push it up from the bottom and push it inward let me show you that that bolt's gonna go in there like that and this other bolt is gonna go up through here and the neck gonna go on top of it but it's gonna be inside right up under there and of course this is your tie rod in so you're gonna take and work it back into the hole right here which you can't really see but you gotta slide this control arm over here and just push that up in there right and that's pretty much it now note when you're if you're gonna take and do this if you if you don't want to replace this whole control up control line just want to replace the bushings make sure when you when you put this your new your new tie rod on there make sure you put it on the right side because I before you put the boot on of course make sure it's lubricated before you put the boot on you're gonna put the tie rod in and hammer it from the back to make sure it seats up in there right it has to be hit it from this behind when you take it out and make sure it's seated in there correctly then you're gonna put your you're gonna lube up your boot you're gonna put your boot on then you have your clip right you're gonna put your clip on there you're gonna stretch that clip out and it's gonna be down here I got one hand so I can't really show you but you're gonna open stretch this out and put it down here make sure it locks down right then you're gonna take your other pin which is which your other clip which this is already has one on here this is an extra you're gonna make sure that's on there so that seats and then when you push this back up inside of the assembly here you're gonna put your net on top when this goes back up in there you put your net on top right and that is how you do your ball joints on the Mitsubishi Eclipse and of course you're gonna do reverse order you're gonna put your speed sensor thing back on there you're gonna put your tie rod your stabilizer back in there and everything now if you notice I got the coilovers on here the Godspeed Mono SS is pretty good shocks. That's another job in itself. I might do a video on that. And of course, I spray spray painted my little assembly here. But that's how you get that job done. Stay tuned. Stunner MM Sports. Stunner MR Sports. Like, share, subscribe.